By the end of today's video, you're gonna know how you can play Minecraft Java Edition in virtual reality on your Oculus Quest 1 or 2. And you're also gonna know how you can join servers in VR and how you can allow your non-virtual reality friends to be able to see your real-life movements while playing Minecraft Java Edition in virtual reality. Finally a good YouTuber, I really appreciate the comment Makui means the world. Thanks for watching and thanks for continuously supporting the YouTube channel. Now, let's get straight into this video. So the absolute basic of this, of course you need Minecraft. I have to actually say that because a lot of people are like, oh, how come I can't play it? And it's like, did you download Minecraft? Well, you need to get Minecraft if you don't know how. You're playing the Java one now, you probably already have it, but if you don't, you click on games on the Minecraft website, then you go down to Minecraft and once you're in there, you can then go over to get Minecraft. It's at the very top. They do actually have this other section over here, which is a VR headset. When you click in, it has the Oculus version here, but this is for the Rift version, which is the official Bedrock version of it. Hopefully we see this come to the Quest as well, but for now, we're gonna play the Java edition. So you go over, you click on computer, and then once you're in here, go with PC, and then you can get your Minecraft Java edition. So easy peasy. Once you have that, you can buy it for $23.95. I already have it. I'm just not logged into the website right now. But anyway, next step. Next thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Vivecraft website. I've made this as easy as possible for you. So I've put it down in the description below. And if you want to type it in, it's right here. Vivecraft.org slash downloads and another slash for some reason. Anyway, this is the Vivecraft website. This is a community made mod from a couple of years back. It's got renamed a few times, but it's basically the way of playing Java Minecraft in virtual reality. Of course, Java Minecraft isn't officially supported in VR, so this is how you do it. So the requirement section is right here. I've already covered this. You need Minecraft Java edition, of course, available on the Minecraft website. It has all the other stuff, like you need Steam VR as well and configured. And you also need a VR compatible headset, such as the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift F, Valve Index, or Windows Mixed Reality. This does also work in the Oculus Quest 1 or 2. It does say that down below as well, right about here. You also need a PC that is capable of playing VR games. Now, for playing VR Minecraft, you don't actually need that much of a monster of a PC. You can do it on a fairly low spec gaming PC, which is pretty great. You also do need an Oculus Link cable, but if you actually have the charging cable from the original Oculus Quest, you can now use that charging cable and save yourself 80 euros so you don't have to buy the official one. There are lots of third party cables as well. I personally use the Kiwi cable. It's five meters long. It's not sponsored by them in any way, but if you do want to support the channel when you're picking one up, if you use my link, I get a small commission on it, but that's just if you're interested. It is down there if you like. Anyway, so we have the download section here and this is where you download it. You can either download an outdated version if you want, I don't really know why, but if you want. Anyway, all you gotta do is click on this one, Vivecraft 1.16.x, because that is the current version of Minecraft. So once you download this, you'll get a screen that looks like this. You go through the installer and it's pretty simple. You do need to open Minecraft before you actually install the installer because Minecraft needs to make the files on your computer. So to do that, literally just jump into Minecraft, jump into a random world and then just quit out. This is if you haven't played it before on your computer because the files haven't actually been made on your computer yet and you do need them there to be able to install this. Also, another tip, you need to be quit out of Minecraft while you're installing this. You can't do it while you have Minecraft open in the background. So be sure to have a quit out before you try installing this. So now once you've opened the Minecraft Java Edition launcher, you want to not press play. Yeah, as tempting as it is, you don't. You want to go over here, click on the arrow, and change that from the latest release over to Vivecraft. And that's how you'll be able to play it in virtual reality. You do, of course, need to put your headset on when you're connecting this. So connect your headset first, have it connected with Steam VR, and then you are able to play it by just launching it right here by clicking play, and it will launch inside of your headset. If for some reason it doesn't appear here, you can actually click over inside of installations and here you'll be able to see it. If for some reason you need to delete it, if it's not working and reinstall it, you can do that here and you can mess around with it and play with it here as well. So that's pretty cool. Bob the Builder's here and he is just, just vibing here. He seems to be way ahead. Wait, who? The Red Menace? No, uh, Bob.
Just Bob. Hello? Now, let's say you want your non-VR friends to be able to see you do your VR movements inside of the game. Stuff like actually hitting things with your sword or actually punching trees and anything you want if you want to kill a pig or whatever, I don't care. You can do that. And you can also use your arms to actually swim in the game. You can use it to just wave or do whatever. So basically you want your non-VR friends to be able to see this when you're playing online with them. And this is how you do it. Once again, you go to the Vivecraft website, vivecraft.org slash download slash again. Scroll down a little bit on the page and then you do the exact same thing that we did before, which is the same download link of Vivecraft 1.16.x. This also has the 2D client, the non-VR version, and it means that people are able to see your movements in virtual reality, which is pretty cool. So yes, this process could take a little bit of time to do, but if you follow along with all of these steps, you should have it up and running easy peasy as soon as possible and you'll be in playing virtual reality Minecraft. If you are interested in actually playing Minecraft Bedrock instead of the Java edition, you can go over to the Oculus Quest store which is open right now, just search and look up Minecraft and once you have that, oh look it's one of the top trending searches, Minecraft there and then you go over to the page and it's actually free for claiming this if you already have Minecraft Bedrock which is Minecraft Windows 10 already installed on your computer so you can click free or start and and you're able to just launch Minecraft Bedrock in VR with your Oculus Quest 1 or 2, which is pretty neat. But a lot of people want to be able to play this in the Java edition, so that's what this video was for, you know? Playing servers is just as easy as it is to play servers in Minecraft 2D mode, although you do gotta be careful. Do look up what servers actually allow VR support, because I know certain servers don't allow people to use this VR Vivecraft mod, because it sort of has a little bit of cheats in there. You are actually able to teleport when you have this mod installed, so when you're playing in VR, you can teleport yourself forward and that's sort of a little bit of a cheat. You don't want to get banned from something like Hypixel like how the Mystical has got banned three times on that already. I got banned on three accounts on Hypixel. Oh, oh nice. We got a hacker here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. So that's everything you need to know in setting up Minecraft Java Edition on your Oculus Quest 1 or 2. And remember, you can use your Oculus Quest 1 cable to actually use it as a PC VR link cable. Although you can't do this with the Quest 2 because it's just too short. But if you are interested in checking out what equipment and what different pieces of tech I use, I have them all linked in the description down below. If you do use my links, it does support the channel at no extra cost to you. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of today's video. Let me know what you think of this new setup. I'm kind of liking it. It's really, really cool. If you're interested in checking out any of the merchandise, as always, it's linked down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to my Patreons and for you for watching the whole way to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. My name is David. Peace.